Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming for you my entire candle collection. Yeah, I have a lot of candles so this is going to be a long one. Pretty fun though if you're just curious to see what I have collected over the years. Some older packaging stuff, some stuff you might have never seen before at Bath & Body Works. I have been collecting candles for 10 years so I have quite a lot and I also have more than the average person. I know this is way too many. I also love to do Bath & Body Works videos on my channel so I love to share with you guys what I recommend picking up each season so that's why I kind of collect so many but I love it anyway and I'm so excited because today is going to be a collab video with my friend Tina Marie here on YouTube and I contacted her the other day because I saw that she was getting ready to do hers soon so I was like let's do this together I think it will be so much fun if you haven't checked out her channel she makes so much Bath & Body Works content she has all the new collections like as soon as they drop she is definitely my go-to Bath & Body Works person here on YouTube she just always has the most up-to-date info and she loves it just as much as me so um, she's also really fun to watch too so very entertaining you guys need to check her out and I'm super curious to see what she has in her candle collection as well so I will link her video down below for you guys to check out I'm basically gonna go through all of my candles I'm not really gonna give a description or anything because that would be an hour-long video but you guys will see like which ones are my favorites and whatnot so let's go ahead and get started all right so welcome to my candle collection area <laughs> this is where I store my candles right now this is a little organizer from Ikea um, it's just a cube organizer on the top I have makeup stuff but yeah I do keep my candles here the very top two are like spring and summer candles and then the bottom row is going to be fall and winter. So I try to keep them organized by season because um, I do try to burn candles seasonally. This is the Raspberry Tangerine. And this one I recently just picked up during the semi-annual sale. I absolutely love the packaging on this one. And it is a super fruity scent. So I grabbed that one. I believe they have the body care in this as well now. And then right on top was the oldest candle I have, which is the Slat Cannon Co. It still says Frosted Cupcake. And yeah, it has just the basic labels. This is right when Bath & Body Works just started making candles. So I've held onto this for many years because um, I got this in 2010, I believe. You can kind of tell on the bottom, this date code here tells you when it was made. So this has a zero in the front, so that's 2010. I'm not sure what the 2021s say. I should check. Here's my 2021. It has two zeros for 2020, I believe. So pretty cool. 10 years apart there. Next up, we have the Saltwater Taffy. This one is a really good sweet scent. You guys will notice my favorite thing of candles is like food smells and very sweet scents is what I love. This next one is the Crystal Waters. This one, I love this light blue packaging. I bought this recently during the semi-annual sale for some fun summery scents since I didn't have very many. And this one kind of has a cologne scent to it. It's really nice. My favorite summer candle is Tiki Beach. I've loved this one since the beginning of time. It is so, so good. So I always have this one on hand. This one kind of has a coconut scent, but also like a perfume note to it. I'm not the best at describing scents. I do apologize, but I do recommend that one. This is the Seaside Days. This one kind of reminds me of being at like a beach resort. Blueberry Pie is another one that I stock up on. It is amazing. This one's good all year round. It kind of has that deep um, blueberry note to it but it kind of smells like the cherry scents as well like black cherry merlot is a little bit similar to this but yeah this one burns amazingly I love it I forgot I have this candle too this is another super old scent that I've held on to for forever and I never want to get rid of it but it smells so good this one you can tell is the 2011 version, but it's a vanilla kind of light coconut scent and I don't think they've ever come out with anything even close to this. I wish they would. It's so good. I just adore it. I would say the most similar right now is the vanilla passion fruit cupcake. Next we have the Rose Water Meringue. How pretty is this candle? I really do enjoy rose scents. It's one of my favorite florals because I'm not really into florals that much, but I do love like a candied rose with like sweetness to it, which would be this. I think they also have this in Body Care. I also have this Somebody Loves You. This is marshmallow fluff. You guys know I had to buy this. Anything with marshmallow or sweetness, I'm all about it. 
Um, it's a pretty basic sweet scent to me. Nothing too over the top, but I did want this super cute limited edition packaging. Here's another oldie but goodie. This is Suntan. This one says 2014. I'm not sure if that's the date it came out, but this is the first packaging of it. This one just smells like you're at the beach. It pretty much smells like sunscreen to me, but I absolutely love it for summer. This next candle is Summer Boardwalk. This one always comes out every year and I always buy it. It's one of the best performing candles. Next is the Sugared Peony Petals. This is another sweet floral scent that I enjoy. Not too heavy on the floral notes. I also have the Mineral Springs. This one's another cologne scent. I do t tend to buy a lot of those type of candles as well. This one's very light and not too heavy. I just, I really like how this one smells. And then we have the Island Margarita, which is another favorite of mine. This one actually came out in Body Care this year, which I was so excited about. And this one is just really fruity and delicious. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't really smell like lime to me. It's just a really fruity, perfect summer candle. This is the White Driftwood. I really enjoy this. I think the packaging is really pretty on this as well. This one is just very unique to me, almost like a cologne type of scent category but I haven't seen this one come back out again, but I really do like this. This is the Soft Pink Petal Tea Cake, another classic favorite of mine. This one is like that light rose scent mixed with, I don't know, vanilla. So it's kind of like a rose macaroon is what it reminds me of. This is Cactus Blossom, another floral scent that I enjoy. And this also comes in body care. I have it in both forms. Really like this one. I do have this Sweet Sunset Orange Creamsicle. I haven't burned this yet, but this one has a very light scent to it when I smell it in the jar packaging. I don't think it's anything exceptional. I would love them to make like a new very sweet oranges and cream scent. That would be amazing. I also have the Blueberries and Cream. This one's a really nice one. This one actually came out during, I think, the holidays, but I feel like it's more of a spring-summer scent. Here is the Sweet Cherry Pie. This one is delicious as well. I think this is actually the one that's similar to Black Cherry Merlot, but it's a little bit similar to Blueberry Pie as well, but um, definitely different since this one is the more cherry, but this one is so, so good. This is the pistachio ice cream, another favorite of mine. I hope they always continue to release this. It kind of reminds me of like an almond and vanilla scent. I love the smell of almond, so that's why I am in love with this, and I feel like it has a pretty strong scent throw. I do have the Paris Lavender Macaroon. This is basically lavender marshmallow repackaged. They came out with Lavender Marshmallow and then it was gone for a while. Then they released this one, which never came back, <laughs> and then they went back to Lavender Marshmallow, but it's basically the same thing. And then here is the Lavender Marshmallow. I believe this is the classic one. I think they kept the packaging. This one says 2017. Another like sweet, sweet lavender scent that I just love. It's like a candied lavender. Here's a fun summer candle. This is Fiji White Sands. I think they come out with this quite frequently. This one just smells very tropical. And another rose scent that I like is the Rose Water and Ivy. If you guys can't tell, I really enjoy rose, but not just plain rose. It has to be mixed with something. So I also have this one in the body care. All right, moving over to this side. This is an older one that I've kept around for so long because I want them to come out with this again. This is Apple Crumble. Oh my gosh, so, so good. I have so many memories of this candle, but I, I just absolutely love it. It's the best apple bakery scent they have ever done. I like to show the years sometimes. This one's 2012. We also have the Raspberry Peach Macaroon, another classic favorite of mine that came out with the Sweet Shop collection. That was such an iconic collection. <laughs> I remember doing a whole video about that when they were testing it, but this one is delicious. Another thing about me, I love banana scents and I have to get all of them. So this is the Tropical Banana. This one's probably the most true banana scent out of all of them. It does kind of smell like a fun banana adult beverage. So, so good. Next is the warm apple pie. This is another classic that they usually do. I put it in spring, summer, even though I think this usually comes out for fall, but this is always a good one. Next is the cinnamon sugared donut. I might have another one actually lurking in these shelves somewhere, but this one has stolen my heart from the beginning. Again, it's such a good one if you guys like that sweet cinnamon sugar kind of scent. It reminds me of like the Auntie Anne's pretzels. So yummy. Speaking of cinnamon sugar donut, here it is. This is probably my favorite packaging they did from the Sweet Shop collection when they had it, but I thought that one was super cute packaging. Here's another one I bought mostly for the packaging. <laughs> this is the Woodland Springs. I bought this during the semi-annual sale this year, but it's so fun. I love the blue. 
and the floral. So this one is kind of a soapy cologne manly scent. I like it a lot. Next up we have Georgia Peach. Just a classic yummy peach scent. I feel like these are almost mixed with a little bit of vanilla too to make them extra sweet. And if you guys remember Market Peach, that one used to be the absolute top-notch spring candle. This is basically Market Peach. Here's another new spring summer one I just got because it had this beautiful lid, which is a actually a heavy kind of almost glass lid. This is a toasted coconut s'mores. Very interesting. I really enjoy it, this how it smells. Um, it definitely has that coconut note to it, but I need to burn this as soon as possible. It's so good. I also have the salted pretzel milkshake. How fun is this? so good it does have that almost salty sweet note to it this is the happy birthday candle and it's actually a pink lemonade pound cake that one was a tester i think it released for the sweet shop collection but only in a small jar so they did release it as the happy birthday candle and then we have the strawberry pound cake which is amazing i definitely like this more than the pink lemonade i will say this just is so good and they had it in the body care this year and it's coming again for fall i saw sneak peeks so this one i highly highly recommend i also have the angel food cupcake with this really fun blue wax and then this one's super interesting it's the french baguette that came out in 2012 and this is so weird it really does smell like you're baking a loaf of bread so i just think it's so unique so i love having it in my collection here's another one that i absolutely love it's the pink bubblegum and this straight up smells like i can't remember the name it's like double i don't know something like that whatever the bubblegum was back in the day this smells like it and it's so good this one here is the strawberry cupcake kind of similar to strawberry pound cake and then this delicious one is the Coconut Cabana, another tropical. Look at this wax. It is bright green. This is the Pineapple Cream Puff, part of the Sweet Shop collection. And this one is very pineapple-y, so I was kind of unsure about it at first. But when you burn it, you kind of get those really nice bakery notes as well. But if you love pineapple, you should definitely try this one out. Also, a lot of these are discontinued, so <laughs> by that, I mean maybe try and find one on Mercari or Poshmark. Okay, this one is the key lime pie. I really need to burn this one. I was unsure about it because to me it almost has a weird chemically smell, like almost like cleaning product. But then I get this really sweet vanilla note too with it. So I don't know. I need to see how it is burning, but I do have the key lime pie. This one is the chocolate marshmallow cloud. How cute is this packaging? I think this one's still available online it was like an online exclusive i believe this one is the gelato candle this one's kind of on the fruity side not super ice cream smelling but i guess it does have like the lemon and the raspberry i'm guessing with the chocolate <laughs> on the label i do have another raspberry peach macaroon <laughs> mixed in there i need to put that with my backups another banana scent this is the banana split milkshake this one is so good if you want like a sweet bananas vanilla scent this is amazing and then this one it just says waffle cone but i'm pretty sure it's the same thing as a berry waffle cone this one's a really good summer one all right so here's the two bottom rows which have most of my fall and winter ones so first up is the fresh fall morning this one is more of a cologne type scent the most classic fall candle, in my opinion, is Leaves, of course. This one literally just smells like fall to me, and it kind of smells like a, like, Michael's or Hobby Lobby craft store. This one is probably my favorite banana scent that Bath & Body Works has done. I wish they would bring it back. This is the Banana Nutmeg Bread Pudding. So good. It's very sweet. Um, not super spicy. Really, really love this one. Here's a really oldie. I think I think they still make this. Cranberry Woods. I've, I don't know why I haven't burned this one. I've just held on to it, I guess, for nostalgia. <laughs> but this is a very spicy, like, cranberry scent, but it's really good. This is the Honey Crisp Apple. Basically, just smells kind of like country apple body care. And then here's an old school mahogany teakwood with the oldest packaging that they've done. This one, of course, it's a tried and true favorite. It's like the one that smells like the Abercrombie and Fitch cologne. And I put a sparkly lid on it, because why not? <laughs> but I should probably burn this one soon. I've had it sitting around for a while. And then this is the black cherry Merlot. This one is really good as well. Like I said, it's similar to the sweet cherry pie scent. This one I love. I don't think they brought this back last year, but it's the pumpkin spiced cheesecake. Ugh, it is so good. It's very sweet and creamy. It's not too heavy on the pumpkin. I don't like overpowering pumpkin, 
just their all around great scent. Really wish they'd bring that back. This is the blueberry maple pancakes. Very strong on the blueberry note with this one, but every fall they always come out with something blueberry, usually with pumpkin. This one here is the chocolate pistachio. This one's great as well. I really wish they would bring this one back. It's just very unique. It kind of has that hazelnut note to it. Really good. This is called Love Fall, the perfect autumn. This one's very much a classic fall scent. Kind of smells like leaves in a way, but it has that nice like cranberry spicy note to it. Really good. This one I'm obsessed with and they did bring it back this year, the pumpkin peanut brittle. Oh my gosh, this smells so good when it's burning. It's very strong, very delicious. It's kind of like a pumpkin, peanut buttery, caramely, I don't know, everything good is this candle. I absolutely love it. Here is flannel. This is another cologne scent, really kind of similar to mahogany teak wood, but it's, this one is a classic that they always do every year. This is the peach cobbler, kind of similar to the other peach I showed you earlier, but it has some spicy notes to it. This one is the pumpkin banana muffin. This is actually really similar to the banana nutmeg bread pudding. It's not like the new one this year, the pumpkin walnut something. I'll have to show you guys because I have it here. But yeah, this one's amazing. This one's really good as well. They do it every year. The pumpkin pecan waffles. Ugh, this is delicious. I need to burn this one soon. I haven't tried that one in a while, but it's a good one. This is also one I buy every year, which is Cider Lane. It's like a caramel apple cider scent to it. Mostly caramel apple. It's really delicious. And of course, Marshmallow Fireside, obviously. <laughs> this is a classic we always have here as well. It's a very sweet kind of marshmallow, but it literally has that fireside smoky note to it. Amazing. And then this one actually is Caramel Apple, which is very similar to the Cider Lane, but I do prefer Cider Lane over this one. So this candle, I refuse to burn because I think it's so cool. It's actually a layered one. It's called We Love Fall Fragrance Trio, and it has three scents in it. Um, let's see. The scents are Sweater Weather, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, and Pumpkin Apple. So you kind of get a mixture. It just will burn down each one. So I think Sweater Weather is on top because that's pretty much what it smells like. And then I have another leaves for some reason. I'll have to put that in my duplicates. And then lastly on this side is Sweater Weather, which is another favorite of mine. This one's very fresh smelling. It's very different than most of my fall scents. And then over here is my more winter holiday scents. And I have the holiday packaging on most of these. So this is the Champagne Toast. This one is very fruity, but I really like it. It's a classic from Bath & Body Works. They do have it in body care as well. This next one is the Peppermint Brownie. Really good one. This one is In the Stars, based off their In the Stars body care, which I love. If you guys haven't tried it, it's identical to the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume. If you want a dupe, I really enjoy this one. This one is Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. I have not used this one in so long. The last one I remember absolutely loving it while burning it was very strong this is the crushed candy cane and it is very heavily scented <laughs> like it is so strong of candy cane just like a nice peppermint scent this candle is the london tea and biscuits this smells like the lemon body care from holiday that i really can't remember the name of right now it might be like lemon snowdrop or something like that but they smell identical it's a really good sweet lemon next is the cozy warm cup of cocoa which is essentially the hot cocoa and cream candle this is the cereal marshmallow bar which smells a little bit like the key lime pie candle i got this ugh, it was such a hassle to get it like the last holiday semi-annual sale they released just a few of them but it's really good it reminds me a lot of like um fruity pebbles the unicorn sprinkles the packaging on this is so fun i believe this came back this year but i don't know this one was underwhelming to me i just got it because it was like limited and it's just super fruity but nothing special the merry cookie i absolutely love i always stock up on this every christmas it's just a classic vanilla kind of scent so good. This one is super fun as well. This is the, I think they called it buttered rum eggnog last year, but I got this special packaging that says, Dear Santa, I blame the eggnog, and it really does smell like straight up eggnog, so that's always a fun one, and this one is really strong. We also have the peppermint marshmallow. I do prefer this over like the twisted peppermint they do, 
definitely my favorite peppermint scent for the holidays because it has that delicious sweetness to it. Next I have this candle which is super heavy. It's beautiful marbled packaging. This is the Marshmallow Musk. This is such a unique scent. It has this weird powdery note to it that I really like and the sweetness, it just is an epitome of a winter scent. I really love this one. And then this one is the Gooey Marshmallow. <laughs> this one is pretty much a vanilla scent. I have, I feel like I have so many marshmallow scents, but I love it. So I wish I bought more of these. I might have one back up. I'll have to see. Another strawberry pound cake, which I need to put in my backup drawer. As you can see, I love it. This one is Tree Farm, and I bought this because literally everyone was raving about it, but it's very similar to like a fresh balsam or winter. It has that kind of pine needle scent to it, but really nice, so I'm definitely going to be burning that for Christmas this year. This one is the Chocolate Lava Cake. This really does smell like a lava cake to me. Very delicious, chocolatey. This is a sweet pea candle. I don't even know if they have sweet pea anymore at Bath & Body Works. I feel like they got rid of it. This is a candle from 2015, so it's a bit older. It actually has holiday packaging on it. But yeah, I've just kept this around. I used to love Sweet Pea, um, the body care. Here we have the New York Cherry Cheesecake, part of the Land of Sweets collection. Very cute packaging. I, I usually buy anything with cherry because it's just something that Bath & Byers doesn't do super often. This is a nice light cherry with a creamy vanilla note to it. Then we have the Pink Fairy Gumdrop. This is so cute, and this one pretty much just smells like candy to me, like a sweet tarts, very sugary. And then this is the Cherry Mocha, which is another one that I think is very unique. It does have a slight fruity cherry note and a coffee note from the mocha. So that's kind of what's in these two drawers. I do want to share with you my duplicates that I have, and then I'll share my newest ones I bought that I haven't hauled yet, so it's like a sneak peek. Okay, so here is some of my duplicates, and then I figured out that I had a couple <laughs> that were not duplicates in there in one of my other closets, so I just laid them out here to go over quickly. Um, this is the new one from Fall the Banana Walnut Muffin, so I have a haul video coming on that. I've started burning it. I'm not like obsessed with it. It's good, but it's not what I was expecting. It's more of like pumpkin-y, like spicy. We have a backup of Summer Boardwalk, the Sweet Cherry Pie, Gooey Marshmallow, Cherry Mocha, the Passion Fruit Vanilla Cupcake. I put this in here because I was currently burning it and I'm almost done with it. I really do like that one. Like I said, it's kind of like the Aloha Vanilla that I love from forever ago. The Peach Sugar Cone, I'm not a huge fan of that one. I'm almost done burning it so I included it here. But, I don't know, it just has a weird scent when it's burning. The pumpkin donut shop on the end, that one is newer. So that one, um, I believe it came out last year. I like returned it, I think, because it wasn't smelling strong. But I burned this year's and I really like it. Plus the packaging is super cute. These are all Marshmallow Fireside. I have three Marshmallow Fireside backups. That's the way you can tell I love it. Banana Split Milkshake, two pistachio ice cream, flannel, pumpkin pecan waffles, and then this girl gang is the pink bubble gum. Uh, I have two extra pink petal tea cake, New York cherry cheesecake. I have two extra sweater weather. I didn't show this one, the chocolate peppermint cream. It's kind of similar to any like mint chocolate scent. I have the extra caramel apple. This is actually a really old one. I have an extra cider lane, lavender marshmallow, this eucalyptus mint. I forgot I had that in my um, closet. I like started burning it and then never finished. And then two backups of pumpkin peanut brittle. We have two backups of leaves and then the spiced gingerbread I never showed either. So those are the rest of the candles. So that is my entire candle collection. Let me know if you guys want to see my body care collection again. I know you kind of saw it in like my declutter video. So it's pretty similar to that. But if you guys want to see it maybe or I could do a perfume collection. I love doing those kind of videos. I used to do Bath & Byers collections like every year. So I need to get back into that again. Um, I like to go through my collection and declutter things and get new things in. But my candles kind of stay consistent. I don't declutter it too much. And I do try to use up my candles too. But you know, it, it takes a while to use up a candle. So I feel like I always have more and I'm always giving stuff to like my friends and family because I have so many. I'm basically their candle store. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope if you guys are new, you will subscribe for more fun content like this. I upload five times a week, so there's always something for anyone. And don't forget to check out Tina Marie's video as well. That'll be it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.